Hi guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. It's uh, the very last day of GDC 2013 in San Francisco, and we're at the Imagination booth. Imagination, for those fellows that are creating the amazing power VR GPU that fires, I don't know how many gazillion mobile devices and uh, copy series and TVs and whatnot. And I have uh, David here. Uh, for the very first time, he's showing a Series 6 uh, developers platform, which is this little thing. Here. That's right, yes. Yeah, so this is a chip from Renesis, the APE6. And this is the first mobile chip announced of PAVR Series 6, our rogue architecture. So there's a TV chip, which was announced earlier this year, and then this is the mobile version. And we should start to see it in products later in the year. It's OpenGL ES 3.0, so lots of additional features, yes, but also additional um, efficiencies. Mm -hmm. It moves work away from the CPU and onto the GPU, where it's both lower power and higher performance. So, you know, that's winning in two directions at once, which is a rare thing to achieve. I mean, you guys already have a history of building one of the fastest mobile GPUs out there. Yeah. Uh, can you give us a little idea uh, what the performance gain compared to the Series 5 is? So, it depends on which parts you're going to compare, but we are talking about the potential for a 100x increase. Wow. So it's a big increase overall, and it's... You know, really noticeable. You talk yeah. about uh, mobile, people tend to think that the graphics are relatively mature, mm -hmm. but actually now it's getting to a point where even on Series 5, the graphics are very difficult to uh, distinguish from console content, and with Series 6 coming through, it's going to be another really noticeable leap. And what's also interesting, it's not going into well, TVs like this LG over here or mobile phones or, or tablets. Um, you're also aiming um, at the automotive sector. Yeah, so TV, automotive, tablet, phone, phablet, you know, that bit in between. And even more important, I mean, people always know us for the high-end devices, but actually the baselines are now using PAR-VR. So entry-level devices, devices from manufacturers in China, for example, provide a level of graphical quality, which, you know, just a couple of years ago yeah. would have cost you hundreds of dollars, and now it's costing you maybe $200. So everybody can get access to this kind of of gaming uh, content and gaming quality. Great, thank you so much, David. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. That's the new Series 6 from Power VR, the Power VR Series 6 from Imagination. It's going to be in a mobile device uh, near your local dealer very, very soon. Q3 2013. Thanks for watching. Bye.